What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today we're going to go over that mini teaser trailer we got last night on the Curse of Osiris DLC so I can point out some of the epic new pieces we saw within it. But before we get into that people, if you'd like to win some epic loot in the form of exclusive emblem and sparrow codes, gift cards and much much more, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and join my Discord server linked within the video description. Okay, so first up, if you haven't seen the trailer, here it is. If the Vex succeed, it's the end of everything. Anywhere we could stop them, we must. Okay, so the first thing to pick up on is the new footage of the latest addition to the Trace Rifle family, that being the Solar Trace Rifle. Now we've seen it before, but this is just another glimpse at it. We then see, for the first time ever, footage of the colony in the works. I mean, we've seen it being fired in the past in a past trailer, but we actually see here what happens when you miss a shot. So this thing's basically a grenade launcher. As grenade launchers do, they normally miss their target. This, however, has a small trick up its sleeve. Upon missing that initial shot, this thing spawns what looks to be mini spider thingy bobs, which chase you around the map. The thing looks so crazy, it's unbelievable. I cannot wait to get my hands on this and troll people with it. I'll purposely miss people so these things can chase them around the map. Next up, we see three guardians getting their groove on. Here besides that Titan helmet, I believe this is just a new set of legendary armour. Either a new set or some kind of new ornaments applied to current armour. Now I first thought the Hunter chest piece was exotic, but his knee pads match like it is a set. But yes, that Titan helmet though, that's definitely an exotic. It looks like it's got glowing bananas on it, I mean it's just crazy. The face shape though kind of reminds me of a hive enemy for some reason, I don't know why. Next up we see what I believe to be a new exotic armour piece, and that being these gauntlets for this hunter. Looking absolutely awesome for sure, with those blue kind of light up spikes on them. Looking great. Weird thing is though, the next shot we see a warlock wearing what has to be also new exotic gauntlets which also share the same kind of blue light theme. Looking epic! To finish off what we see from this trailer, we have two new exotic emotes. We get the mic drop, which we've seen before and looks cool, but we also get the sweeper bot exotic emote too, which I just love the look of. Using this after getting a team kill in PvP would be absolutely epic. Not that I get many team kills in PvP, but yes. But either way, I can't wait to use it. So yes, people, that's basically it from the trailer. Not loads to go on, but what we saw was definitely interesting. Bungie, in my opinion, have done a great job on keeping hush on these new exotics. I love that element of surprise when you receive something you ain't ever seen before. That's actually one of the key things I miss about the original game. I mean, yes, they used to spoil a lot of these new things within DLC reveal trailers, etc, etc. But still, there's always that one element of surprise which you could always look forward to. Moving on from the trailer, and we are going to take another look at this hand cannon I covered yesterday. If you missed that video, that's fine. Check this thing out. What does that remind you of? Yes indeed, people in the Red Death, the exotic pulse rifle from Destiny 1. This no doubt has to be an exotic. But I have thought about this. Imagine if this was a paired weapon such as the Mira Mini Tool and Multi Tool. Imagine if the Red Death is making a return and this thing pairs with it somehow to give you extra benefits. That would be epic! I do welcome back the Red Death with arms wide open, but how about you? Imagine this thing being a 3 burst, much like the Red Death also. That would be kind of great, but kind of crazy at the same time. I just can't wait to see more on this for sure, people. Another exotic not many people noticed was this one here showcased on the blog update which they basically spoke about the current state of Destiny 2. 
Within the feature pick of Zer, we can see his exotic loot inventory. Here we see what looks to be new exotic hunter boots bearing that Curseful Souls logo on them. To me they kind of look like just baggy jogging bottoms, but what could such offer? Blink maybe? Imagine that. But yeah guys, a few exotics showcased today for sure. All will no doubt arrive with the Curse of Osiris DLC on December 5th, so not long now people, not long at all. Now the past few weeks for me have been ups and downs really, I mean Destiny for me and my channel is in the worst state it's ever been at, I mean views are down, subs are down and it's just in my opinion not a great game to cover at the moment. But the changes they have announced and the fact that they know they've messed up and are working on fixes for the future. I mean it can only get better from this point forward people, it seriously can. But yes guys, anyway I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks as always for stopping by and showing me that epic support you guys do in these dry times of destiny. If you are new around here and enjoy what you just witnessed, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss one of the many videos I upload on a weekly basis, be sure to hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload. But thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people I will see you on that next one.